Jay Shrek, your MotorcycleGuys.com. So, you know, if you decided that you're going to buy a bike on Craigslist, you know, what's the advantages of buying uh, a bike on Craigslist? Well, you don't have to pay taxes, right? So you're not going to have to pay taxes if you're buying from an individual, right? If it's an individual, you know, there are dealers that sell on Craigslist, but if it's an individual, what are you going to do? You're going to save uh, anywhere from, what, 8.2, uh, 8.6 here in, in this state or this city. Uh, Texas uh, is what it's going to cost you, right? Uh, that could be a substantial amount of money, and that may be what motivates you, right? Is because it should cost you less to buy a motorcycle uh, on Craigslist. You know, I had a guy the other day that was extremely pissed off at me about the uh, buy bid I gave him that was a wholesale buy bid on his bike when he had paid X dollars for it, and, and my number was substantially lower, okay? And... Uh, what he didn't realize is when he bike, bought that motorcycle from the dealer, right? And you're buying a motorcycle from the dealer, then there are extra fees. You know, the state does charge you taxes. So you're going to be, you know, probably when it's all said and done, about 10% higher, right? Because you got 8.2, right? You got your tax. Let's just use that as the number. You've got your tax, right? You got your title fee, which is almost, you know, some, say anywhere from $299 to $599, right? Your dock fees, okay? You have your licensing fees, uh, 0.0168, okay? You've got uh, uh, shipping, and you've got build to put the bike together, right? And those go on the top of that number. So let's say that your motorcycle that you purchased uh, was, was 10 grand, right? Well, your fees are going to add up to, you know, could be twelve, five, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000. And you're not getting those back. They don't come back, right? As much as you might want them to come back, those fees aren't coming back. So when you look at what you want to sell your motorcycle for, you can't say, well, I paid thirteen dollars for it. I want twelve, dollars right? Uh, it doesn't work. And if your bike is not selling on Craigslist, it's too high. It's that simple. There's guys like me that's all over the all over Craigslist on a daily basis to try to get a value and a deal, right? And if the and the bike is a deal or a good deal or a fair price even, right? They're gonna sell. So if your bike's not selling, then your your price is wrong. Well, so Jeff, what's my price? Well, your price is right here, right? If you follow this guideline, it'll tell you what retail is and put retail on it, right? It, you know, you can get on the internet and find out what the value of your motorcycle is. Now, you might, you know, I've had a lot of people say, well, I want 12000 for it. Well, why? Well, I owe twelve. Well, because you owe twelve does doesn't mean that's what it's worth. And I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but somewhere down the line, you have to be realistic what the value of the vehicles are, right? And, uh, I mean, in a, in a perfect world, uh, we wouldn't have those fees, but it's not a perfect world. And the government wants their part, and the state wants their part, and the city wants their part, and the dealership wants their part. Everybody wants a part, right? But if you come in armed with the facts and you know what you want to spend and where you want to be and you hold your budget, you know, and you work a good deal, you know, it's another thing I'll do for anybody that, you know, wants me to. It is a fee, right? If you want me to go in and negotiate a deal for you, uh, I will. And will I get a better deal? You Absolutely, I will. I know I will. I know the business inside and out, and I will help you. But... You got to be realistic when you're selling your motorcycle and you know you're going to you're going to make more money by selling your motorcycle than you would if you took it to a dealer because they have to make money too and you can't add it on the top both you know I'm not negative dealership or negative Craigslist or or any of that right uh, buy the bike that you want. Know that if you're not going to a dealership, there's going to be uh, uh, cautions that you have to make sure that you know what you're doing right. And if you go to a dealership, you're going to pay more, but you are going to have the satisfaction of A, they're going to have financing, and B, that they probably went through that motorcycle and they probably will stand behind it. I, I hope they are in this business. They do, right? So you make the choice what you're more comfortable at, right? I've always been a kind of a wheeler dealer, right? So I always wanted to make the get the best deal I possibly could, and I knew that that deal was Craigslist. Yeah, are you, know, you are you making or taking a risk? Yeah, but you know what? I was willing to take that risk. So when you're selling a motorcycle, that will be the next one. J. Shrek, your motorcycles, guys.com. Live the dream.